Pokemon Legends Arceus is kicking off Nintendo's big 2022 of gaming with a January 28th release date. And as of now, we know basically little to nothing about it. Normally, I would be okay with keeping things under wraps, like how they did with Gen 8's rollout, because it adds an element of surprise that makes playing it more exciting. But the difference here is that with Gen 8, we had a lot of reasonable expectations going in because it's a familiar mainline Pokemon game. But with Arceus, this is a new gameplay experience, and we really don't know what's going on other than assuming that it's going to be an open world or monster hunter type of game but with Pokemon. Outside of that, what's going on with this game? I'm sure there's more to discuss or show, but we haven't really seen it. And for a company that's already been in hot water in recent years for the quality of their games, it just makes me wonder if they're that reliant on the franchise name alone to push sales. Which isn't a bad way of thinking for them, as anything with Pokemon slapped on it will sell regardless. But in my opinion, when you already have a ton of skeptical fans who are hesitant to buy newer Pokemon games, the lack of information makes it even more difficult to convert them to buying the game. My guess is that we'll be seeing a Pokemon Presents coming up before the release date so we can really see in depth what Arceus will have to offer, but as of right now, we're kind of just getting the same focus as when it was first revealed, showing us the vastness of the open world and a few new gameplay mechanics without really telling us what the overall goal will be. The whole theme of the game is the times before humans and Pokemon coexisted, so I have no idea whether we'll see traditional elements incorporated, and I'm genuinely curious to see what ideas this premise brings that could be unique alternatives to those traditional elements, which is why I'd like to see any information on this game particularly. I'm sure there's more to the game than just running around catching Pokemon. At least I hope! But with the lack of anything else shown, it's easier for someone to be skeptical that there's more to the game. Now you could argue that the element of surprise is good, and that Pokemon has been more secretive of their in-game contents in Sword and Shield, which makes your first playthrough a more fulfilling experience. But for me personally, I only want to learn more because this is a completely new type of Pokemon game, not a traditional mainline game where we can already guess what to expect, where even if there's a new region in Pokemon, it's still going to gyms and getting strong enough to beat the Pokemon League. We can call out the mainline formula without seeing it, because we know the formula, but we don't know this new type of Pokemon game yet. Them going in a different direction for Arceus has me the most interested in this franchise that I've been since probably Gen 5. This is a big game for the Pokemon company. In fact, it's debatable that this is actually going to be more impactful than Gen 8 for the overall direction of Pokemon moving forward based on how it performs. So why they really aren't pushing broader information about it, I don't know. I guess they really just like to keep things a surprise now and rely on that Pokemon name to sell units. And I hope that whatever is being kept as a surprise will be totally worth the price of the game. Of course, maybe they just didn't show us anything else because there's nothing else to show and the game is just fucking bad. Who the hell knows with this company, honestly? So, let me know what you guys think. Do you also hope to see more to get an idea of what we'll be paying for? Or are you happy that they're trying to be more vague in order to create a more genuine experience on first playthrough? Thanks for watching as always guys, really looking forward to trying to make 2022 the introspective renaissance, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, deuces!